<laughs> I received a question in one of my inboxes when someone asked me that, can I take alcohol to prevent pregnancy? Or I learned that some people drink salt and water and it helps them in, and it prevented them from getting pregnant. Good day everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Gwendolyn Halle, a seasoned and certified medical microbiologist from the UK and I'm popularly known as a medical professional with the difference because I bring you knowledge on health medicals and a lot more. Let's go there. Welcome back. We are going to be answering today's questions and they are, if I drink alcohol, particularly whiskey, or gin, or vodka, or any form of strong liquor, after having sex, will it prevent me from getting pregnant? Or if I drink a salt and water solution after having sex, will it prevent me from getting pregnant? And the answer is no. And these are the reasons why. After having sex or when you have sex, the sperm that enters or the semen that enters your body goes through the reproductive organ. But this alcohol or this salt and water solution you're taking is going through your digestive system. There is no direct link between your reproductive system and your digestive system. The second point is salt and water solution and the alcohol are not morning after pills or they don't prevent pregnancy. They don't. The only thing that will prevent you from having uh, from getting pregnant after sex or after having sex is if you take a morning after pill or what they call a 24 hour pill 72 hours after having sex the only thing that can stop you from getting pregnant after having sex is if you take the morning after pill or what some people call the 24 hour pill 72 hours after having sex or within 72 hours after having sex this is very important guys this morning after pill for example postinol that you are going to take is a drug alcohol salt and water solutions are not drugs what's going to happen in your body when you take the postinol uh, uh, two or the morning after pill is pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics but that doesn't happen uh, with the alcohol, with the salt and water. I know some people are going to say that, oh, this person told me that when they drank uh, uh, alcohol or gin after having unprotected sex, they didn't get pregnant. Or they, uh, they drank the salt and water solution after sex and they didn't get pregnant. If they didn't get pregnant, that's because they had sex when they were not ovulating. If there is no egg, there will be no pregnancy. So let's stop misinforming people and then people find themselves pregnant and you know i've heard a lot of people say when they take strong liquor like gin vodka you no know, rum something that is hard you know you know and some of them say you mix it with bitter cola you know it will dry up the sperms dry up the semen in fact you will just go and pee it out you know that is false because there is no direct link between your reproductive organ and your digestive organ. Please, let's not be deceived. Let's not be deceived. Now, some other people will say that they could take this salt and water solution and douche themselves with it. When I mean by vaginal douching, that means they take the salt and water solution and they pump it into their vagina to flush out the sperm or the semen. That's not going to be possible. That is not possible because the sperm has already run past the cervix with the salt and water reach your cervix or reach your uterus. No, that's not possible. That's not possible. And all these things that you do, this salt and water solution that you're going to you want to douche yourself with, you want to uh, 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 use a vaginal douching will cause vaginal dryness. And in most cases, 
it will lead to vaginal infections because the pH of the vagina will change and you will start having funny or, uh, 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 foul discharge or colorful discharges which we don't want. So please guys, this is where I come in. If you want to prevent yourself from getting pregnant, if you don't want to abstain, if you don't want to follow the abstinence path, please take the morning after pill. Or still, why don't you understand your menstrual cycle, know how to calculate your safe period and your unsafe period? And that will be so great. Thank you for joining me in today's class. I remain your seasoned and certified medical professional, Gwendolyn Halle. Till next time, bye-bye.